Hi, I'm Katie and I've been saying for a while now that I'll do a Thrive video testimonial and I haven't for one reason or another but what I wanted to do today was just tell you about the last 48 hours so I am a single mum I have two boys one who's four tomorrow this is Dan look at my nails this is I'm gonna come on to this in a minute and this is Henry and I had a massive phobia of sickness it changed everything that I did I've always had it I'm a typical oh, metaphor yeah. yes damn and I would avoid things I wouldn't go on school trips I went through fertility treatment for Henry and I liked that because it was planned I could counteract any morning sickness with anti-sickness tablets I felt like I was in control then after having Henry I had a massive breakdown got addicted to anti-sickness pills for years and numerous things went on and on and, on, and I, I wouldn't leave the house I got diagnosed with depression I got diagnosed with anxiety I was on every antidepressant you could think of I tried to get them to section me numerous times I just couldn't handle the thought of being sick and panic and it was the worst thing during both my c-sections with the boys I ended up in intensive care with Henry and they punctured my spine with Stanley I wasn't bothered about all this I was bothered about whether I was gonna vomit I'm just trying to give you a bit of background um so on Sunday night I put the kids to bed Stanley my youngest has autism and he's pre-verbal so he doesn't say a lot he will say things when he wants to but only in certain situations so he can't tell me if he's ever feeling poorly and Sunday night came he was put to bed he'd eaten his supper he was fine and he was then being sick and I won't go into it too much because you're probably watching this and you're probably petrified of it and my initial reaction i'm not gonna lie after i'd taken his bedding off was to freak out and i panicked and i started hyperventilating and i started getting worked up and worked up and worked up and i messaged rob and i said i've i'm not doing well at this my son's projectile vomited i thought i'd nailed this thrive you know, I swear by it, I tell everyone about it. And I'm, I'm studying my kitchen hyperventilating, what do I do? And I got a message saying, you just panicked because it's your instant reaction and you've not been in that situation yet where you need to kind of put it into practice, I guess. So I've managed all the day-to-day -day tasks, but actually I've not been sick yet. My children hadn't been sick and this was a big test. And then when he was sick again, I was calm, w worryingly calm, like, like, why am I so calm? And um, the reason I'm doing it now is because he's Salmani, we're watching Thomas the Tank. He's still not right. Um, but a few years ago, I'd have gone and slept in the car. I probably wouldn't have come home for a week. I felt like I was failing at a mum. And do I still get them thoughts in my head? I'm like, are you going to catch it? Yeah, I do get them. Like, then I'm not going to lie. You have to work so hard at stopping them. And in my book, it says about the dream technique. And you, you, I'm so glad I practiced that because that unhelpful thought can escalate and escalate and escalate and escalate. Um, but I just wanted to say very quickly, and I will do a better video testimonial, is that here I am, looking rough, because I've not washed, because I've been on mum sick watch for days now. Um, I think I've washed my hands the normal amount of times. I've only used this bleach where necessary rather than washing my hands in bleach. And um, this pooly pudding gets to have cuddles with his mummy. And as much as I keep thinking, oh, Oh, what if what if this happens what if this happens i'm catching that thought so quick now and um 
I, I, yeah, I can't explain, like, filling up now. Just how amazing. Thrive has been. Because. See, even Henry's getting involved now. Because it wouldn't have done this. I mean, it made me feel like it couldn't be a mum because I couldn't look after them when they needed me. But here I am, being a mum, and I might have bitten, not bitten, because I wouldn't have bitten, but picked all my nail varnish off. Um. But that's 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 all really for any kind of behaviours that are a bit, you know. Anyway, thank you for watching, and if you are scared of vomit, scared of anyone else vomiting, anything, thrive by Rob Kelly. It's a game changer, promise. <laughs>